Hey guys, my name is Simsy, and welcome back to some more Fall of the Samurai. We are playing as the Sat Suma. So, to start this off, this happened at the end of the last episode. Tosa broke their alliance with Saga, which is really quite interesting. Now, um, there's an interesting war going on, because I'm allies with the Fukuoka, who currently own the majority of Satsuma Island. Originally, the plan was to take the entirety of it. However, um, the whole island was currently occupied by um, Imperials. <coughs> Sorry, had a cough coming, I could feel it. Um, and now they've actually expanded onto the mainland of Japan. Now, I did make an alliance with the Fukuoka and the Harado. Um, they were allies with the Fukuoka, now they're at war with them. And the Saga are at war with the Fukuoka, and they're allies with Harado. I think I'm going to declare war on Saga and Harado, so I can take those two provinces. Um, the only clan I have kind of a sweet spot for is Tulsa. However, Tulsa are kind of, um, yeah, they've only got one ally at the moment. So they're not doing particularly well. They're at war with Harado and the Fukuoka. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to declare war on them. However, in today's episode, we're going to be taking our, our first gold mine. We're going to be declaring war on the Su Sim Sima? Shima? The Su Shima. I think that's how you say it. Um, they are a shogunate clan, they've only got one region, and we started picking apart these islands so we could, um, well, expand our territory, get a little bit more income before pushing onto the mainland of Japan. Um, right. Yeah, I was double checking. No, that's these guys. It's these guys. Yeah, they're actually at war with uh, the Harado and the Saga. Right, also some construction news. We finally obtained a trade agreement with the Americans, and we currently are constructing an American trading district, which allows us to recruit United States Marines and ironclads. Um, it is going to take a while before we get the technology for an ironclad, but we're currently going to modern rifles so we can get some Imperial infantry and uh, Republican infantry and Black Bear infantry and whatnot, which is good to see. Um, I think that's basically it. Um, I was saving up for, yes, a field artillery because we can get pirate guns because we have unlocked the um, important guns technology so we can get Armstrong because currently we're still using wooden cannons which is a little bit, um, I don't know, barbaric? <laughs> I can't think of a good word. Uh, unmodernized. Right, we're going to disembark. Where can we disembark? We have to disembark on that side of the island? Are you joking? I thought we could disembark bank smack there. Obviously not then. We're going to have to push further south then. We're not going to attack this turn. I'd rather get into a better position. But we can finally get some better quality artillery. But there's a pretty big war going on there. The Harado have taken another territory. It'll be interesting to see how the Fukuoka respond. I do have an alliance with Fukuoka and Harado, so the only problem I have at the moment is Saga. Um, I'm not going to call my allies just in case they break with me because it gives them the option. I'd rather not. And we'll double time the fleet back around so we can get some bombardments on. Not an overly big garrison. Looking at my army build, four lots of spear levy, two lots of wooden cannons, two lots of saber cav, quite a fair amount of levy uh, line infantry, and we do have our sharp shooters. Depending on the odds, we'll play the battle, but I reckon... Um, we'll see, we do have a fairly big stack at Goto Island. Six more turns until we get our American troops in. I'm trying to see what I can um, spare money on. Because I do need to save up for... Well, eventually we're going to get parrot guns. So I'm going to have to spend money on that. I'm also going to have to spend money on the United States. But I do need a bigger fleet. It is going to be a while until we get an ironclad. That's the thing. I might go with a wooden frigate. It does qu cost quite a bit. But since we have two islands... And we're on an island ourselves, not the mainland of Japan. I think having naval superiority is essential. Even if we do go to war with Saga, because they have a quite big... <laughs> they have quite a bigger fleet than my own. Do 
Just had a quick sip of water. I do apologise if you heard me slishing and sloshing. <laughs> All right, we're going to move my um, ship in there. We've nearly gone to the whole of Japan, which is interesting. Let's have a look to see who we can trade with. Uh, no one else. There yeah, we're not. Let's have a look how much my trade has gone up since we've been trading with the Americans and uh, Great Britain. It was about a hundred. So we're making a fair amount of money from trade. That's good to see. Alright, let's go and besiege the settlement. Wow, why are we so outnumbered and not favoured to win? Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to fall one unit over there. Just in case. Um... Just in case, obviously, we lose the full stack, they won't be able to retreat. What I'm going to do is... Um... That's interesting. Well, I'm going to continue the siege, because we're not... not we're not favoured to win. I don't like that, though. I don't like how Saga has just moved an army there. What are our relationship with Saga? Plus 181. It's actually quite good. However, they still can declare war on me. I haven't... You shouldn't trust your allies overly that well. Okay, the public order at Satsuma isn't the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit a spear levy. Just to keep up with the public order. How is the public order going everywhere else? Quite solid. Go to Island. We'll be able to defend. What are Tulsa doing now? You are defending against a force of attackers. Terrain planes. Well, they're coming out to attack me, so that's put it into the balance. How good is their units? They have... They have one lot of sharpshooters. Their general isn't overly that good. Interesting, I guess. Right, let's fight this one on the field. They've come out and attacked us. I'm not too sure... Yeah, it'll be a lion battle. We should be able to beat them. I don't know why it's so much in their favour. Hmm. Maybe besieging. Obviously, you lose a lot more casualties with besieging, and I actually hate besieging in Shogun too. I just hate the whole... I don't know. I feel like every settlement's the same. And, um, I don't know. I just don't like the siege in it. It's not too bad I can play it, but I, I don't know. I prefer sieges in other games. Right. Man, this is going to be a bloodbath. This is just like a flat field as well. So, what we're going to do is, is we're going to put our main line here. I guess. Why wouldn't it let me deploy further that way? It's because everyone's up there, right? Control A, push everyone back. So I can actually see what the fuck is going on. That is a horrible line. I don't want to make them too thin, because these guys here don't have many men in their units. What I want to do is, I want to put two lots of sharpshooters on the angle, so we can then we can angle them in. How much of the range is different? Not the best, but I want them to like kind of flank once they get in there. Alright, now I want to put my two lots of levies on the flanks as well. Um, they didn't have that many levies, did they? From, not, from what I can remember, they didn't. Right, general, move here, and we'll move my here. We do have artillery, I think, uh, naval artillery. That is. <clears throat> um, where do I want to put my cavalry? Just basically put them on the flanks along with my units here. I will double check how many sword unit they had. I might have to redeploy. I can't remember. I, th I swear they had more. <coughs> I swear they had more. Um, uh. What was it? Not mere layer uh, units. So they only have. That's ma a sharpshooters. They've only got two lots of uh, melee infantry. Okay, we should be right. Get the cannons to be able to fire at will. Now are on. Oh, they are on that. Right. Maybe my lines is a little bit too long. Oh no, it's actually pretty well perfect. We'll hold that. 
Um, I will push my general back, but I do want him in his zone of control to keep up morale. However, in saying that, I don't want to risk him unnecessarily. Uh, that should be fine. We are getting two units here, nearly three. They don't have any of their own cavalry, so that's interesting. I'm going to flank with my cavalry then. Not too far away so that they can't be effective, but enough to cause some problems from the flanks. I feel like F Shogun 2 has so much fucking friendly fire, it's uh, <laughs> ridiculous. Right, um, how are we going here? They're slowly moving their army up. They're fighting for their homeland, we're fighting for conquering Japan. For the Emperor. My daimyo will not become Shogun. <laughs> Alright, how far are these cannons out of range? Oh, they're actually in range now? What the fuck? Fire! I thought they had fire at will on. I could have been shooting for quite a while. Wow. Nice. Aim for their cavalry just behind because I have a feeling that in Shogun 2 the rounds kind of fall a bit short, so we'll be able to hit in this general cluster here. They have moved. Well, I can actually shoot it like here. I can choose where to shoot. I want to wait before I call in my artillery, though. <clears throat> my naval support. Now, I did kind of premeditate these shots. Is that going to come anywhere near? Oh, it falls just a bit short. That one near... Oh, that one did as well. As if. We'll hit here, then. So, if they hit behind... Alright, flank a lot more. If you can. What's this? Their general. We might be able to take down one of their generals. Ah, oh, falling just short again. We'll fall, keep falling over. We might be able to get away from their sharpshooters. Oh, we're getting some casualties here. Fall that way. Fuck. Those sharpshooters had some range. Right, how are we going? I want everyone, I want them to start engaging and then I'll call in my artillery. Fire there. Oh wow, they're going to get their general just massacred. We'll fire in like... I want to wait for them to fire first. But here looks like the best cluster, I think. Take aim! Fire! I might even get some shots off myself if we can. That's a pretty good shot, Simpsy. Oh, perfect. Right, the naval bombardment will be coming in soon. It's hitting there, so I don't know how well it's going to do. Or maybe it's coming and I haven't realised. No, here it is now. Oh, nice. Right, these guys are firing quite well. Right, these guys aren't because they're not in the field. I don't know why. Right, try angle a bit more. Let's push over here. I'll right, try to take down some of their units now. Try to take down this one. Alright, how are we going? Cannons are out of ammo now. I would like to take out their general.
Oh, these are sharpshooters. Right, my other units are there. Watch out for their spear levy. I might actually get my spear levy into the field because they're not actually doing anything. Fucking hell, they're going to get wrecked here, these cavalry. If I'm not careful. Try to hit these guys from behind. Hit their line infantry. There is going to be a lot of friendly fire with my cavalry. So I want to try to push them in and out as quickly as possible. Alright, there's a couple of units moving in here. Right, everyone halt. Go into melee. I want to charge. Because I know we can beat them in this melee charge, because we have melee superiority. It'll stop a lot more friendly fire if everyone just charges. Uh, we got an... what have we got some here? Uh, Inspire will do. Just on these guys here, buddy hell, they're going to be taking most of the brunt of it. Right, cavalry. I'll try to break them down here. Uh, cavalry, I want you to get into the field a bit more. I want you to go take down these guys. They're routed. Hit these guys from behind, cavalry. They're broken there. Nicely done. Continue. I want to try run down as many of these guys as possible so we don't have to fight more in the settlement. But nicely done. Yeah, run after these guys. There's a fair few in them. Well, I guess they can go with their pistols. Get some shots off, I guess. I don't know how accurate they are. Right. Solid victory. <laughs> Lost a lot of casualties, though. Wow, we destroyed the entire unit there. Um, I guess fire there. Maybe we'll be able to get it in. Might be able to take out a couple. Man, if I died from naval artillery there, oh my god. I'd be just so angry. <laughs> After I would survive that onslaught. Right. A victory at last. Bloody hell. Just look how many scattered bodies are on the field. But at least we didn't lose the entirety of any one of our units. A close victory, apparently. Yeah, I think those Yari Kachi really did save us. That charge. Probably lost a little bit more units than um, should have. But at least we didn't get any of our units destroyed. We did lose casualties. They deployed more units than me. Okay, that's why. They deployed 2,426, they lost 2,255, we deployed 2,290, and lost uh, 943 on the field. So that's actually not too bad, seeing as they deployed 2,000. The rule of thumb I usually use for total war is if they if you lose half of what the enemy deployed, that's a, that's a good battle. Well, for me, that is. Um, and if it's any more, it's bad. If it's any less, it's good. So it's, it, was a, it was an alright battle, I, I would say. Like I said, that's my rule of thumb, usually. But, we have taken the island now. We would have lost a lot more if we were going to siege that. Soldiers recruited, spear levy at Satsuma. I did that to keep up the public order, didn't I? Right, so, let's take the island now. We only lost two men taking it. I'm going to occupy, I don't particularly want them to become my vassal. 
but this should boost up my economy quite nicely and we have defeated the faction so we will rally up our naval troops I'm gonna do a quick save I do want to continue to push my uh, navy little navy here around Japan but um, looks like we know who occupies most of it except for on this side but so continue to move around we do have a gold mine now so how much does it cost to upgrade that five nearly five thousand how many more turns one more turn until we get some power to guns two more turns until we get a wooden corvette We are going to have to leave a pretty big garrison here. But I think the public order is kind of shit on these islands. As you see here, we're going to have to hold one. So we're going to have to put a fair few amounts of just levies and uh, Yari. Probably four there. Once that gets repaired, probably four there as well. Uh, I'd rather just save up for the moment. We'll do that later. Right, what buffs do we get? Minus ten wealth from farms. Ishin Shishi, right. Four turns until we get some Imperial Infantry. Enables Neil Fire. That is really, really helpful. But once we've done this, I want to go into Iron Plating. Uh, so we can get some really good quality ships. Because we are on an island. We have little tiny islands as well. We're going to have to protect them and be... Uh... be able to defend them confidently so i'm actually going to end the episode here thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through i really do appreciate it remember to leave a like to support this satsuma series and my channel simc total war subscribe to keep up to date with all my total war content and i'll see you guys in the next video and remember to go out and have a fantastic resty day after you've watched this video if i can make sure you do it guys goodbye